Hello cadets, my name is Cadet Airman First Class Eagle, and I'll be teaching some drill in this video today. The first thing I'm going to go over is the position of attention. The position of attention is the normal thing you'll be in, and at attention, for these purposes only, I'll be talking, but at attention, you do not talk. You look straight forward, and you keep your bearing. And when you keep your bearing, that means no smiling, no talking, no laughing, nothing. When at attention, your hands should be in a fist, and your thumb should be directly along the seam of your trousers on both sides, and your arms should be directly pinned against your sides. When you stand at attention, your feet should make a 45 degree angle. They should be right next to each other, and your legs should be pinned together as well. You should not lock your knees because that will lead to you fainting. So now that you know about attention, let's talk about prey dress. Parade rest is a modified position of attention. The command would be, when you're at attention, the flight commander would call, Parade rest! At parade rest, all the same rules apply as attention. You keep your bearing, there's no talking, no smiling, nothing. Now I'll go over the hand movement for when you go into parade rest. Flight commander will call, Parade rest! It's fluent movement. And so your left hand is going to go under your right hand, and your left thumb is going to go under your right thumb. Your thumb should be tucked down, and directly, your hand should be directly on your back. At the same time, your feet will move as well. So when they call parade, rest, your feet are separated. They make about a 12 inch separation, and your feet even though they're separated, they should still make about a 45 degree angle when you bring them back together. Your right foot always stays planted. Now I'll show it one more time. So flight commander would call, parade, right. Foot, right, parade, right. All of it is quick and precise. The movement is fluent. Now I'm going to go over it at ease and at rest. These are the other two positions you might find yourself when performing drill. At ease and at rest are very similar, except one you can talk and one and the other you cannot. So at ease looks like this. So you'll be at attention, your flight commander will call, flight at ease. When you go to at ease, it's just like prayer rest, but you can, uh, Turn a little bit, you can look around. You don't have to keep your bearing as much. But your right foot will always stay planted. So then they'll call attention again. Flight, attack, hurt! Now for rest. At rest, at rest. So you can look around. Your right foot always stays planted though. But you can chat with the people around you quietly. And you don't have to keep your bearing as much as well. So the feet placement is the same for both of them. So when you're standing, you'll call at ease or at rest. So flight at ease. Your feet become separated, but then they can move around a little bit. But your right foot is always staying planted. So you can move around. Just remember to keep your right foot planted. So then they'll call attention. Flight at head. And then for at rest, foot at rest. Right foot stays planted, but you can move around. Now I'm going to go over the facing movements. The facing movements are used to get your whole flight to turn and face a different direction. You can look to you know, face left, to right, and you turn around. So I'm going to go over left face first. Flight commander call, left face. So now that you can see my feet, I'm going to go over it slowly and step by step. So flight commander will call, left face. On that call, if you're going left, your left toe is going to rise and your right heel is going to rise as well. And your whole body is going to shift and then bring your feet in. So do that again. Left, face, left toe up, right heel, right heel up. 
It's as simple as that. So do it one time fast paced. Left face. It's quick and precise. I'm gonna go over right face. Right face is the exact opposite of left face. Like manual call. Right face. Right face. Now that you can see my feet, I'm gonna go over it slowly and step by step. Flight command recall, right face. So now your right toe, right toe's gonna lift, and your left heel's gonna lift, and you're gonna do quick, precise facing movement and pivot your body. You bring your feet together. Go left, yeah. Right toe up, left heel up. Do one time. It's like manner. All right, boost. So the last facing movement is about face. About face is get, used to get the whole flight to turn around. So the flight commander will call about face. About face. Now that you can see my feet, I'm going to show you this slowly and step by step. So the flight commander will call about face. So your left foot is going to stay still for now. Your right foot is going to come behind and get a good sweet spot that's going to help you be perfectly still once you get turned around. And your whole body is going to pivot and your feet are going to end up right next to each other as they just were before you turned. So about face. Foot comes behind. Your feet together. Do it one more time, face to face. About first. About first. And when you turn, this is for all the facing movements, but your feet are always going to come back to a 45 degree angle. The same thing for left face and right face and about face. Now I'm gonna go over saluting. Saluting is super easy. Your complete commander will call one of two things. Present arms or hand salute. Present arms will be called like this. Flight commander will call present arms. Come and salute. And when you're saluting, it's a good thing to know. Your arm should be parallel to the deck and make a 90 degree angle with your side. Your hand, be like a knife, straight, and your thumb should be cut. Then they'll call order arms. You cut it fast. It's sharp and precise. Now hand salute is slightly different. You only present for the duration of what the command was called. So if it was fast, hand salute, and there's no need for an order arms. And if it's a long hand salute, Hands up! You do it for about the time that the command was called. The last thing I'm teaching in this video is flight fallout. This is used to dismiss a flight once you're done doing drill. So flight commander will call flight fall out. Take one step back with your left foot. You bring your right foot back. And you do a right face. And you step out. So I'll do that in real time now. Flight ball out. And so it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped. Please consider subscribing to this channel, and I look forward to teaching more drill in future videos to come.